What is it, Houston? A bubble. Here, you want me to open it? Let me see. Let me help you. It's, it's open. Let's see. Go me. You're so cute, Houston. Here you go. Don't make a mess, okay? Houston just found his bubbles and he is pretty stoked. He is so excited. Say por favor. Okay. Di gracias, mamá. Te quiero mucho. Houston. Te quiero mucho. Wow. So, got my hair tied and um, I just grabbed my go-to's. So this is, I don't know if y'all can see, this is Dave's Killer Bread. Let me show you his little logo because he has so many things that like are pretty good and healthy. When I'm talking about bread, he has hamburger buns, he has bagels, he has English muffins. And then he has different types of like a bread. That's Dave. This is his logo, Dave's Killer Bread. So I usually get it at uh, Kroger, but they have it at HEB also. Um, if you're not in Texas, I don't know. I really don't know what stores y'all have, but they should carry Dave's Killer Bread. So Lucky just left and he told me he wanted breakfast. So I'm going to make him like some, I don't know, egg whites with onion and a little bit of cherry tomatoes that I do have and I'm gonna add some turkey in there um, we've been eating turkey bakey uh, turkey bakey we've been eating turkey bacon um, like this whole week which is pretty good I have never ate turkey bacon and I think we're gonna go back to the grocery store today because we ran out of drinks already and we don't have no more turkey bacon. so I think I'm going to go and grab some more today because we need that in our life you know it was pretty good it's healthy uh, so yeah Talking about that, um, there is always a way to like substitute what you like in a healthier version of it. So, um, you know, try to research that, look look into that, and try and do that because you know health is wealth. So, um, I have my eggs, the onion, the tomatoes, the turkey, and my bread. So I'm gonna get to it, and y'all are gonna cook with me cha 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 first thing is first by the way i have been cooking with the simply truth avocado oil cooking spray OMG, and how could I forget it? The baby spinach. This is another go to. Like, no matter what I'm eating, I need some spinach in my life. I was like, who are you talking to? I didn't see you had the camera over there. I said, she talking to herself. Lucky just got back, and I am about to whip it up. You're gonna record me? Yeah, what are you making? This is the best one right here Donut Shop Vanilla Latte. It's gonna have you right. Check on this coffee. It's still brewing. There it go, there it go, there it go, there it go. Okay, so I want to show y'all real quick how I get my egg whites in there. I like the yellow part of it. I'll throw like one in there out of the one. So, you get your egg, you crack it like a regular, and then Instead of dipping it in there, you let that drip and you pass it over here. That's the best part you're missing out on. 
And that is how you get egg wipes. And then you just keep on repeating that with all your other eggs. Man, it's smelling good, man. And you always season your eggs while you're making them. So. Mm. All right, we'll see y'all when this is done. Ta-da! Looks good, nice and healthy. Cheers. I was gonna sit right here, but I'm gonna go sit with Rolo. I hope y'all had a great morning. It's Friday. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Stay safe. watching and want to see this world man we're gonna show you this world today man it's beautiful out here man stay prayed up man stay prayed up and god is greater than everything amen. you're struggling with amen and like just to add on to what he said on our luchi gang boot camp facebook group um anybody that joined the boot camp or the 90 day challenge is able to get through with the facebook group right and so everybody that is on there has been posting um, and I've seen a lot of couples, right? And I just wanted to stress the fact that y'all have to stay prayed up, especially if y'all are like couples and y'all are doing this together and y'all are trying to motivate each other because the devil is going to come. Like expect it, like just be ready for it. Don't be surprised whenever y'all start bumping heads and doing all that stuff. Um, just know that the devil is trying to attack y'all and be able to recognize it like honestly be on point be on your toes like this is when you need to be on your toes like you know how when it's like christmas season or holiday season and the jackers are out and you just be on your toes this is the season like right now is the season for you to be alert and be aware that the devil is going to come and he's going to try to attack he's going to put all these little negative thoughts in your head he's going to make you feel some type of way he's going to make y'all argue he's going to try any way to get y'all separated so if you're trying to have unity with your family and your relationship mm -hmm. and trying to build a bond and build a stronger bond and work on yourselves and better yourselves the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So that's why you yeah. gotta have the full armor of Jesus Christ on you. You know what I'm saying? So even if it, feel, it feels weird, um, pray with your partner, pray with your kids. Um, maybe you're not used to it, but just start to really try and call on Jesus' name to cover your relationship, to cover your business, to cover your household, to cover your kids, to cover your whole entire family. Just stay prayed up, stay in your word, and stay strong in your faith. You are standing on solid ground. I just wanted to throw that out there because I did feel it in my heart. Like seeing all these couples uh, motivating each other on Facebook, doing the whole run, posting the videos. Like it is great right now, but there is going to come a tough time. Yeah, we're at, we're only on day two. Everybody's motivated and excited right now. We're on day two. You know what I'm saying? But when we get to day 32, 
I want y'all to have that same energy. You know what I'm saying? When we get to day 42 and 52, I want y'all to have that same energy. Another thing I wanted to add, one of the things that uh, y'all had to do for the first 30 days only of this 90 day challenge was give up soda waters. No Cokes, Dr. Peppers, Pepsi, Sprite. We, we, me and Kelly too are both giving them up for the first 30 days. And there was a lot, I saw people on the Facebook group kind of confused about what they had to give up. They Some thought they had to give up coffee, some thought they had to give up uh, sugar in their tea. And it's, it's yeah, you can drink coffee, you can drink sugar in your tea. It's not giving up that. It, you're just giving up Cokes, Dr. Peppers, Sprites, Pepsi. If you don't drink Cokes if already, if you had already gave up Cokes, then you find something else to give up for 30 days. But everybody else just gotta give up the soda waters. Even if they're diet, diet soda water, diet Pepsi, diet, give it up, 30 days. And the reason why we are trying to condition your brain, like your mind, we're trying to rewire your mind. So when you would usually do this as soon as you wake up, you're switching it up. So your brain is basically creating another path of thinking or reacting. And, and that is what your we're neurons doing. neurons are firing in a different direction. Yeah. So we're having you think in a different way because we're just stuck on program like a program in our brain on autopilot and it's, we're trying to reprogram your brain because it starts there if you have power over your thoughts then you have power over your actions and your feelings and everything so um not only are you giving it up for God, you're showing him that you know, you're know you changing and that you're doing things differently, but you're also- Denying um, your body and letting your body flesh. know that. Amen. You're letting your body know that you are in control, not your body. You're not, you're not doing what your body wants, you're doing what you want. So that's where the self-discipline kicks in. And this is why we started the 30 days the way we started. Yeah, so it's gonna get a little more intense as it goes on. But as of right now, if you think this is hard, you are basically barely breaking a habit and changing the way you are waking up, the way you start your day, the way you're thinking, and what you do when you're getting your day going. I wanna see you shining out here, man. I wanna see you having things. I wanna see you be able to help other people. You can't help nobody else if you ain't. The, the, the best thing you can do for yourself is become the best version of yourself so that way you can help others and inspire others to become the best version of their self. Kelly Jean sporting our Lucci Gang Challenge beanie. Go to luchigangbootcamp.com and just get your subscription. And you can get a chance to order that. It's a beautiful day out here. He threw the whole bread. Oh, that was a mean one. Look at him run away. He's like, leave me alone. Oh. I'm coming, Doc. Say, I'm coming, Doc. Say, I'm coming. Wait, wait.
happened? They want hot dogs. The ducks want hot dogs? Yeah. You're gonna give them some hot dogs? <laughs> the pigeon case filled. Look, look at the pigeons. Oh, oh. man, hold on. <laughs> Get little ones. Uh, I'm trying to throw them in the oh, water. He just bit me. Look at this one. He got smart. He's like, man, let me go straight to her. <laughs> look, you see, look, look. <laughs> Have a little bite out of here and then we also need to stock up on like some drinks some water some lacroix little things like that so let's go i need a salad real quick i need some energy got the big steaks baby thank you Fajitas, marinated fajitas. You sleepy, Houston? What you got there? Some grapes? Goat cheese. Well, we tried to go get a salad at Whole Foods and the salad bar was closed. Even the little kitchen in there where they make them Cuban sandwiches was closed. So, we're going home. Go eat at home like we're supposed to. But we stocked up on a couple of things that we needed. So, thank God for that. All right, so was that fun feeding the ducks? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Are you hungry? You want go. grapes? Just wash your hands and then let's go eat grapes. See what we got here. Some apple pie. Some sushi that got smeared in the car. Some more sushi. Got some grapes. Some berries. And more grapes. Man, if y'all ever go to Whole Foods, trust me and try this cake. Kelly don't like it, but man. I like it. I just... She doesn't like dress leches, and it tastes something like dress leches, but berries. Like, what is it? Blackberries? No, it's... look. Here, here, here. Y'all ready? Bam. Man, it's like dress leches inside with black, those, no, these blueberries. Blueberry. Tres leches. I like the icing. It's good. Hold up, baby. Wheat tortillas. I'm going to make some 
vegan quesadilla later on. We're going to turn the grill on later on tonight, though. And I got some ribs, fajitas, and some steaks, ribeye steaks. And we're going to put that on the grill later on tonight. But right now, let's have some lunch. Oh, and I got a couple shots. I want one. Ginger shots. I know I got you one. And this is what I'm going to drink. Tropical greens, baby. Coconut water, pineapple, apples, mango, kale. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I know uh, y'all didn't get to see the whole day, but y'all got to see our morning and our lunch, half our day. I hope y'all have a great day, and uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. We got, we, we actually got some company coming over this evening. We're gonna have a little barbecue, so we're gonna be busy later on this afternoon and this evening. We might turn the camera on for y'all, post that tomorrow. But uh, until then, stay tuned. You watching Luciano TV.